Hey everyone, Itay Manero here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to paint this turtle with oils in Procreate. So let's jump right into it. This is a three-part series, where each week I'm using a different technique. Last week I painted this turtle with watercolors in Procreate. You can watch that video by clicking the link in the top right corner. In today's video, we are going to be painting the same subject with oils in Procreate, and in the last one next week, we'll be painting it with pastels. In order to achieve this, I'm going to be using my new bundle called the Fine Art Mega Bundle for Procreate. This awesome package contains the watercolor experience, the thick paint, and the epic pastels brush sets for Procreate, and it will save you 33% over the total price if you would get these three sets individually. If you're only interested on the oil brushes, you can also get my thick paint brush set individually, or even download a free mini version for you to try out. You can find the link in the top right corner of this video, or in the description below. For all three of these paintings, I'm using this incredible photo reference by Wexer TMG. I will leave a link in the description as well, in case you want to follow along. The first thing I'm going to do, is to import a few textures that are included in this brush set. The first one is going to be an oil color base. Since the background of the reference is blue from the ocean, I'm choosing an orange base to work as a complementary color for my painting. This texture needs to be placed at the bottom of the layers menu, and the layers mode needs to be set to normal. As always, I like to name my layers, so they're easier to identify. The second texture I'm importing is one of the included oil texture sheets. This texture needs to be placed over the oil color base texture, and we need to change the layer mode to overlay. I also like to lower the opacity of this texture, so that it is a bit more subtle. The last one I'm importing is a canvas texture. This one needs to be placed on top of everything else, and the layer mode needs to be set to multiply. I also like to play with the curves tool, to get a darker but more subtle canvas texture, but this is just a personal preference. Now I'm bringing the sketch I already did on my previous video, and placing it between the oil color base, and the oil texture sheet layers. I'm lowering the opacity of this layer, and I'm going to use it as reference to do a new sketch, but this time I'm using the super wet flat brush, from the thick paint set. Once I have the new version of the sketch, I can get rid of the previous one, and I switch to the Thick Paint 3 brush, to quickly paint the blue background with big color spots. I'm also using the same brush with the Smudge tool, to blend the strokes in some areas, so that I get softer transitions. I'm incorporating other brushes as well, to add some variety in my strokes, like the Lazy Oil Raw, the Dry Oil Marks, or the Brush Strokes Texture 2. Now with the super wet flat brush, I'm covering the whole surface of the turtle, with the basic colors I can observe in the reference. This first layer of colors is like a map, where I'm already establishing what colors go where. From here I'm just building up with more colors and brush strokes, trying to be more specific and more detailed, as I progress with the painting. When I have this sort of color sketch settled, I'm okay with merging my painting layers with my sketch in one single layer. I might create some new layers later as I keep painting, but I'm always merging them in one, as soon as they have served their purpose of keeping things separated, until I no longer need it. I'm working a bit more on the shell, trying to add all sort of color variation and texture. Here I'm using the dry oil marks brush, to blend some of the edges of the turtle with the background. 
I find that doing this makes my digital oil paintings look more interesting and organic. Adding some strokes with one of the experimental thick brushes, I can add an extra bit of texture in some spots. You can notice how I'm constantly trying to add variety and making an effort to be spontaneous. I'm working a bit more in the turtle's face and the neck area. Here I'm using the super wet flat brush in a small size to paint the texture in the legs. I'm adding these lines on a new layer so that I can alpha lock it later and introduce some other colors to them without affecting the rest of the painting. As I feel my painting is almost finished, I continue detailing the important areas further, like the head and the surrounding parts. I also decided to extend the blue of the background to cover most of the canvas, but still leaving some bits of orange here and there to retain the complementary aspect. Using one of the oil splat brushes, I can add some random texture to the belly area and then use the super wet flat brush to refine the shapes. Now I'm dedicating some time to further detail the face and the rest of the turtle. And this is the final result. I really hope you liked this video. Don't miss next week's tutorial where I will be painting this very same turtle with pastels in Procreate. If you use my brushes and post your art on social media, feel free to use the hashtag Manero brushes so that I can see what you create. I will be extremely happy to share your creations with my audience. Don't forget to subscribe for more art related videos and give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out my Gumroad page, where you will find the Fine Art Mega Bundle for Procreate, and many other sets and freebies that I have available. I'm sure something will suit your artistic needs. All the links are in the description below. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.